What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com helping you get bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. Before I get into this video, as always, I wanna let you know that if you comment jump, J-U-M-P down below in the comment section and you like this video, I will send you a free body weight vertical jump training program. So comment jump down below, like the video, and I will send that over to you. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question that I get a lot, which is, should I continue training with knee pain? And I am also going to give you a routine that you can do to cure your knee pain no matter what it is. Now, before I give you your answer, I wanna let you know that if you have a more serious knee injury, like a fractured bone or a tear, like a meniscus tear or a torn ACL, LCL, MCL, you should seek medical, uh, medical or professional attention and go through the proper physical therapy that is going to help you. Okay, so don't sit here watching YouTube videos trying to do it yourself. Go seek professional advice. Um, other than that, if you have patellar tendonitis, if you have knee discomfort, normal knee pain, like in your tendons and around your joints, if you have runner's knee or jumper's knee, your answer is yes, you should continue training. Yes, you should continue training through knee pain and here is why. If you stop training and you rest for let's say a week or two weeks or three weeks, the second that you come back to your training, your knee pain and knee discomfort is just gonna come back, okay? If you rest, it's like putting a Band-Aid on a wound or it's like putting a Band-Aid on without actually going after the cause of the knee pain, okay? So we need to go after the cause of the knee pain instead of just resting and trying to let it heal because when we come back, it's just gonna come back. And that's what my routine is going to do. It's going to attack the cause of your knee pain and help you recover. Now, I have my whiteboard here to help me, so your answer is yes, you should continue to train through knee pain, but if you wanna stick around for how to stop your knee pain, I'm gonna to talk to you about that right here. So, should you train with knee pain? Number one, don't stop completely training. Now, what I mean by that is we all have certain exercises that bother our knees. Our knees are bothered, they are uncomfortable, there's pain in our knees for a reason. So we need to figure that out. Is it because you run a lot? Is it an overuse injury like runner's knee? Is it jumper's knee? Is it because you have poor form on your squats? But for, for, for everyone out there, there are certain things that you do that cause the pain. For myself, when I had patellar tendonitis back in the day, I like to do a lot of heavy squat and deadlift work. I like to do vertical jump training. I'm trying to dunk a basketball. I'm trying to get bigger, faster, stronger, more explosive. So during that time, I developed patellar tendonitis and my problem was with plyometric jumps and it was with squats. And the exercises that I found out that bother my knees the most are plyometric jumps. They were hurdle jumps and split leg lunge jumps and they were squats because I had tight hips and tight ankles and my form was not good on the squats and because my hips and ankles were tight, I put all the pressure on my knees as I did squats which then caused them to develop an overuse injury over time. So for you, you need to Find out what exercises actually bother your knees and then you need to scale back on those exercises. So if you're doing squats, you need to do less weight on squats. Don't stop training altogether. Just do less weight as you do the knee routine that I am going to give you. So while you are doing the knee routine, you can still train this knee routine. It's only gonna take like 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes a day that you need to do this to fix your knees continue training um, while you do this. So don't completely stop doing squats. Don't completely stop doing whatever bothers your knees. Just scale it back a little bit and make sure your form is good, okay? If, you're, if you have tight hips, tight ankles, you need to do some mobility work to take care of that, okay? But that's number one, don't stop training completely. Number two is for squats. Should you use knee sleeves or not? Um, if your problem comes from running, if you have runner's knee, then no, you don't need to use knee sleeves. If it comes from jumping, like plyometrics, I have a lot of people who watch my channel for vertical jump training, um, 
No, you don't need knee sleeves. But if you're doing squats, if you're doing deadlifts, you should be wearing knee sleeves to protect your knees, especially if you're doing heavy weight. For myself, I'm, I'm not gonna go do a squat or a deadlift session unless I have knee sleeves. And these right here are the strong knee sleeves. I will link them down below in the description. They truly help. Not only do they make my knees feel more comfortable while I am squatting, but they keep my knees warm, okay? so. While these are on my knees, they are keeping my knees warm, they are keeping my joints loose as I am doing my squats, as I am doing my deadlifts. So if you would like to get these, if you do a lot of squats and deadlifts and heavy powerlifting, um, then those will be linked down below for you. But those are the knee sleeves. Third, and this is where we get into the routine that's going to help your knees. Um, glute exercises and knee exercises. So you need to do glute medius exercises because your knee is basically on a track, okay? It's like a train on a track and it, it goes all the way from your hips down to your ankles, okay? If anything out of, is out of alignment, if you have weak glutes, that's going to throw your knee off track when you're doing exercises like squats, okay? So the exercises that you need to do for your glute medius that's going to help everything stay in alignment and stay on track, it uses this perform better mini band. And what you're going to do is you're gonna start with, this black one is the heaviest resistance. So um, if, if you click the link in the description, it'll take you to Amazon. You might wanna get a lighter band than this, or you can get you know the green band, the red band, and the black band and work your way up, progressive overload. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is three sets of 15 reps of glute bridges, with a hip abduction at the top. Glute bridges with a hip abduction at the top. This is gonna work your glute medius. It's going to put that knee back on track. It's going to strengthen your glute medius, which if you're an athlete, at all, at all athletes, they neglect their glute medius. If you wanna become more athletic, you need to work your glute medius and you need to open your hips. That's how you become more athletic. So with this band, it will be linked down below, do glute bridges with a hip abduction at the top. Then you need to do clams also for three sets of 15 reps. Then you need to be doing monster walks for three sets of 15 reps. Then you need to be doing lateral side steps for three sets of 15 reps. So let's say you go in a gym, this is your, your routine, or you could do it at home if you just get the band and do it at home. Warm up your legs first. I like to personally use an exercise bike, so I will warm up my knees, warm up my legs on an exercise bike um, for about 10 minutes. Then I will get the mini band and I will do glute bridges, I will do clams, I will do monster walks, and I will do lateral side steps. Then, I will go into what are called TKEs, terminal knee extensions. This is meant to strengthen the muscles along the knee joint. So the mini band exercises, those are for your butt, for your glute medius. The terminal knee extensions strengthen the muscles up and down your knee joint. Okay, so what you're gonna do is tie a resistance band to a pole, to a railing, whatever you can tie it to, tie it to a squat rack, um, and you're gonna put it behind your knee, and you're basically gonna put one foot forward in a lunge position, and you're going to bring your knee to a flex position, flex it, and then release. That will strengthen the muscles across the knee joint. So we have our glute exercises, we have our knee exercises. That is number three. Number four is probably the most important, yet probably the most overlooked. This is super easy to skip because people don't understand how important it is, not only for overall health, but for knee pain. This is the number one thing that you need to focus on. Stretching and foam rolling. That's why I put a, a star there. Stretching and foam rolling. Now, when you are foam rolling, if you don't have a foam roller, you can use a basketball, a medicine ball, a lacrosse ball. You can use a rolling pin. There are so many things that you could do to um, foam roll your legs. So you need to do foam rolling just for like five minutes and then you need to be doing a certain um, routine of stretches. So you need to be doing the couch stretch and what I do is I like to do 60 seconds each leg. So I'll do the couch stretch, then I will do a hamstring stretch, then I will do a quad stretch. Those are the big three, okay? Those are the big three. If I were you and you have knee pain, knee discomfort, tendonitis, those three stretches for 60 seconds each leg, if you wanna do it more than that, the more stretching, the better. The more that you stretch, the less pain and discomfort you will have. Um, 
But those are the three big stretches that you have to be doing. Other than that, personally, myself, I do the pigeon stretch, I do um, a butterfly stretch, and I do an Achilles stretch. Those are the, those are the stretches that I personally do um, and those are the stretches, the top three are the main, main ones that are going to help your knees, but those are the stretches that are going to help you get rid of patellar tendonitis, knee pain, knee discomfort, and this routine is what you need to do to get rid of any knee pain in general, unless you have something more serious, then go seek professional help. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is your answer, yes, you should continue training through knee pain, and that is the knee routine that you can do within 30 minutes a day, the, the glute exercises, the knee exercise, and then the stretching and foam rolling. That is going to cure your, your knee pain, your knee discomfort, no matter what it is, I promise you. Now the thing is, you have to stay consistent with it. You can't just do it for one day and say, oh, this doesn't work. However, after one day, you probably will feel better. And a lot of questions that I get also is, how long will this knee routine take me to feel better? You will feel better after a couple of days. It, it completely cured my tendonitis. After about a month, I was 80%. After about two months, I was 90%. And after about three months, I was 100% and I had no pain at all. But here's the thing. I continue to do these glute exercises and these knee exercises and these stretches I do the stretching and foam rolling every single day. I never stop. It's a part of my life now. You have to make it a habit, especially if you're doing hardcore training or running or jumping or squatting or deadlifting. You have to make stretching and foam rolling a part of your life. But the mini band exercises, the TKEs, I do those two times per week before my leg days, okay? So you have to be consistent and you have to continue to do it or um, the knee pain is just going to continue to reduce your quality of life. So there you have it. Yes, keep training. That is your routine. This has been Nathaniel Morton with NathanielMorton.com. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe and click the bell so that you never miss a video. Share this if you think somebody else can get value from this video. Like the video, comment, jump down below if you want a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. And ladies and gentlemen, as always, Take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. Meaning that if you just watch this video and then you don't do anything about it, your knees are not going to feel better. You have to go out and you have to do it. You have to get the mini band. You have to get, um, you have to do your foam rolling. You have to do the stretches. You have to do the things necessary that are going to make the pain and discomfort go away. But I will see you guys in the next video.